to the Navani Salehu and the elders of the Fijian government for Fiji Airways. I take this opportunity to thank you. We are today uh, welcoming the sixth uh, A330 uh, that uh, Fiji Airways will now be operating. We also mark the occasion by the fact that uh, this aircraft is going to be named after the island of Atulele. I have to say that uh, when we um, get requests from Fiji Airways as to what names you would like chosen, we always refer the matter to the Honourable Prime Minister. So I can tell you that the Honourable Prime Minister has actually had input into the choosing of the name. And of course the last aircraft was named Benga, after the island of Benga, and of course today we bought the Lele. And I was remarking yesterday to the Honourable Prime Minister, we were in uh, Vanua Levu, uh, that uh, these are the two islands in the south of Vitilevu. So the southern islands have now actually got our name after aircraft in, in Fiji. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, as Shana has also highlighted, that the naming of aircraft after islands in Fiji also means that the specific islands get a lot of footprint, they get a lot of exposure. So when these planes are actually parked in Singapore or Hong Kong or LA or San Francisco, now Tokyo, or Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Auckland, Wellington, wherever they may fly to, people will actually ask, what is Vatulele? They want to know about the name. They want to know its meaning. They'll of course find out it's actually named after an island. Then they'll actually go and read about the island. So it gives a lot of exposure to these islands. And of course all the islands in Fiji are very unique. Vatulele, some may argue, is even more unique than other islands. Um, you know, the fact that you have the, the, the what my, one may call mysterious red prawns, but of course the, the people are in Vatulele and the other features that Shanaz has highlighted. We all need to be very proud of our national carrier. Today, the largest proportion of our wealth, our revenue, comes from tourism. And most of the tourists that come to Fiji, over 90% of all the tourists that come to Fiji, fly to Fiji. Now, if you do not have a national carrier, then you'll be left beholden to the rest of the airlines that fly into Fiji. This is critically important for a country like Fiji, which is a maritime island nation, and the fact that we have tourists coming to Fiji, that we have a very strong national carrier. Because when you have cyclones, all the other foreign airlines stop flying to Fiji. The only airline or the first airline that starts flying is Fiji Airways. The only airline that starts flying with is any other problem or continues to fly is Fiji Airways. You can imagine what would happen if we did not have a national carrier. So we would be left at the mercy of the other air airlines. We don't want that. So the government over the past number of years has worked very closely with Fiji Airways. We facilitated the reformation or reform of this uh, 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 company. Fiji Airways only a few years ago was making losses. Today, Fiji Airways is making more profit than ever before. We partnered uh, about three years ago with Fiji Airways because we are quite keen for Fiji Airways to fly to Singapore. And government then partnered with Fiji Airways by providing a budget, a yearly uh, uh, partnership marketing uh, uh, amount of $18 million a year. We are glad to say in this year's budget, we have no longer made that allocation because the Singapore route is actually doing quite well. So government believes in actually facilitating these roles, hand-holding wherever there's hand-holding required to ensure we have longevity of our national carrier, longevity of the routes. And today, of course, we have the, our Japanese friends who are here uh, on, on, our, on my right, who now just come back on the first flight from Tokyo, uh, from Narita. Now, they'll be flying three times a week. We'll be flying three times a week to Narita. It means there are more economic opportunities for us. Tourism, of course, ladies and gentlemen, of course, is not just about the national carrier. It's not just about the people who work at Fiji Airways. It's about the livelihoods of other people. People who work in hotels, the, people, the person who's the gardener, the lady who cleans the room, the person who actually does the cooking, the person who may be doing the gardening, the taxi driver, the person who takes people on the boat to the islands. It's a whole range of employment opportunities that's there. And this is why we need to be very careful, we need to be very strategic as to how we place ourselves, how government provides support, how well we work with Tourism Fiji. 
you look at the airport across the runway, many people have said to me, even this morning, people are saying to me, they can't believe that Fiji has such an airport. Only a few years ago, the airport that we had was not nothing you know, to write home about. Today, it's internationally recognized. Indeed, it's now been considered to be the, one of the 10 most improved airports in the world. Huge accolades for Fiji. So we as a nation need to come together. We are bringing everybody into the fold. We've never had an aircraft named after Batulele. Today, the people of Batulele can be very proud. In the same way, the people of Benga have been was very proud when they had the, the other aircraft came in. Of course, we've got, for example, the Asawi Rara. All these islands are named after aircrafts. When we do get the brand new aircrafts, we of course are planning to get bigger aircrafts. These, this aircraft and the one before that, a few weeks ago, uh, we are leasing it on a short-term basis. So, in four years' time, we'll get brand new aircrafts. And of course, it's discussed publicly before, it can be either the 787 or the Dreamliner or the A350. Now, of course, when they come in, these names will be transferred to those aircraft, so your name will continue to be there, but on newer planes. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're in a very good space, very good opportunity for all of us as Fijians to work together, we focus on the future, we have a strategy in place as we put uh, Fiji Airways uh, through the hard work of the CEO, the board members, uh, and of course the staff. And today, Fiji Airways is now making a lot more money than it ever did before. Today, Fiji Airways is the only airline or only company that has got government stake in it that actually has profit sharing for all its staff. Every year when it makes profit, the staff actually get a share of the profit. We, of course, would like to replicate this in other organizations too. A number of uh, announcements have been made in the budget also. For example, we've increased maternity leave. We now, for the first time, a paternity leave, we now have home care leave. All of these things are actually put in place because we have the economic potential to do so. And it goes to show if you work together, if you focus on a particular strategy and a particular vision, we of course can realize a lot more of our potential. So I'd like to thank all of you who, who made the trip from Atulele. I understand you left at 5 a.m. this morning. And I'd like to thank you for making the trip and those of you We've actually joined them here this uh, this morning also. I'd like to thank you, Ratu, for being here. And uh, of course, I'd like to thank the Fiji Airways staff, the engineers who went and uh, got this aircraft, the uh, engineers, of course, who stayed back, also the other members of the management and the staff who facilitated this. And we want to encourage them. We want to tell them that the potential is there. Government is work, will work with them to ensure that Fiji Airways grows and grows. And there's enormous potential for us to do so. And indeed, we already regarded as a uh, as a premium uh, airline company, at least in the Southern Pacific. So, Munaka Makalevu, and I wish you all a very good morning. Munaka, thanks. Is it on Joe? Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. So you could take a seat as well.